everyone. This is Mama J with Cooking with Papa J and Mama J. I'm coming to you tonight. We're going to do a, a leftover meatloaf lasagna. First thing we're going to have, we have all our ingredients. First we have our leftover meatloaf. This is about a pound of meatloaf that I have. And then we have our tomato sauce. We have our ketchup. We have our Worcestershire sauce. We have our basil. We have our chopped garlic. We have our onion. We have our Italian seasoning. We have a half a cup of water. We have mozzarella cheese. We have some Kobe Jack cheese. And we also have some sharp. And we have our ricotta cheese. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go head on. We're going to go head on and make our sauce. Okay, first thing we do to make the sauce, we're going to add our, our can of tomato sauce. This is about 16 ounce can. Then we're going to add some Worcestershire sauce. I say about three or four dashes uh, or more, however you like. I used to use more because I like Worcestershire sauce in my food. Then we're going to have, add about a, a, a teaspoon of basil. You all see me just sprinkling basil in food and not measuring. It's because that I'm an old time cook and a long time caterer and I've been cooking a long time so therefore I can kind of just look at it and eyeball how much is a, a teaspoon and, uh, and the amount. So there was the garlic and here is your onion powder. And you put by a teaspoon as well. And you know it's all according to your taste if you want to put more or less. But put a teaspoon of Italian, and we have two eggs, they're going to go in here as well, and then we're going to go with some salt, pepper and salt. Then we're going to go ahead and mix in our ricotta cheese. You put a whole 12 ounce in here to go along with your, uh, into your sauce. I'm going to combine all my ingredients in the uh, in this in this first and normally you would uh, do your uh, ricotta cheese and your eggs and your water separately but I'm going to do mine all together along with the meat and then the last thing you put in is your water I, I got a cup but to me I think you need just about a half but you just eyeball it and see if that's how much you need or not. And um, I like to also add my ketchup. Some ketchup in here as well. And then once it's done, you just go ahead and incorporate it. Mix it up real well. Because you, once you mix it up real well, what you're going to do, you're going to spread it over your, um, over your leftover meatloaf. The reason I call it meth, uh, leftover meatloaf is because I cook a lot, and when I do cook, it's a lot of uh, it's for a large group. However, once we get through eating meatloaf, and then we decide we want to eat leftover meatloaf sandwiches, then uh, you know I still want to like do something different than just eating meatloaf sandwiches. So I just came up with it. I said, okay, let's do something different with this uh, leftover meatloaf. Okay, so I said, well, let me do lasagna. I know my family loves lasagna, so let's just do a. Uh, a leftover meatloaf lasagna. So once it's all incorporated, just like this, and make sure you get all good with the ricotta cheese. Make sure it's all blended in, no lumps, and you get this like that. Okay, you see how it just all incorporated together. So make sure it's incorporated and it's uh, combined and smooth, so you can get ready to be able to pour it over the over your meatloaf. Okay, and also make sure your eggs are also incorporated in there well too. And next we're going to take the meatloaf. Here's your meatloaf here. We'll take the meatloaf. We'll go ahead and pull all this over your meatloaf. Make sure to get all that goodness off. Got <laughs> okay, there you go. 
It takes months to get your meatloaf. You're going to incorporate it real good. Let's give me another spoon, something a little spread in on that one. Put all this young juices into the, um, all this good into your meatloaf, and you make sure it's incorporated well. And then once this is incorporated, then we're going to get ready for our uh, layering our lasagna. Okay, this in there good. Just give me a moment. It's going to get it in there too well and good. And uh, this is going to be real good. I tried this before, and once I did it, uh, my family just really enjoyed it. And uh, so I have uh, been, been cooking it ever since. Okay, this is about good. Let's get it here. And then we're going to go ahead and get ready to uh, lay our lasagna. Okay, I have a uh, casserole dish here. And what I do is I use the, I use the uh, no-bake oven ready lasagna. I say when they created these, they, they were thinking about me. So you know, you know, I got these at Walmart, you can get them anywhere. They, just remember they call oven ready lasagna. You do not have to boil them at all. Okay, well now what we are going to do we're going to lay up the lasagna. First we're going to lay up here. Okay, just lay them out. There you go. Come way on them out. Okay. Excuse me. Sometimes you have this break in them. I put one at the bottom here. So now can just be taken up. Okay, now once you lay them out, then you go ahead and get your sauce. Put your sauce right here on each layer. And then you do it layer by layer. And see, once you do this, you don't have to worry about going ahead and put ricotta cheese and all, because you have everything all into one. So you keep layering and cover each layer with this sauce, and then you're going to put additional cheese in between. This is real good. You know, I love to create new dishes and um, different things. My kids are always talking, Mama, let's do something different. So they won't always want me to uh, create different dishes and different things because they like to eat different things and they don't like to eat the same. Okay, got this layer right here and cover here. All right, now when you get the first layer, on the first layer, I like to do some sharp cheese. I like sharp cheese because sharp cheese gives you it's give a like a real tangy flavor, and I like the tanginess of the sharp cheese. So I tend to use a lot of uh, sharp cheese in my dishes when I'm, I'm making something with making dishes with cheese. And then spread this on top. Okay, once that is spread, okay, we're gonna take this last little piece I had broken off, and we go ahead and lay it again. Another layer. You just keep layering them until you reach the fullness that you like. Okay, so I put here. Now we go ahead on and we'll just once again we use the sauce and we just cover it. Well, you see, and with the meatloaf now you know that you can use hamburger meat as well. I'm using turkey. I tend to like turkey a lot in a. Uh, so I buy turkey mostly when I'm cooking dishes with hamburger or either uh, something with hamburger. So instead of hamburger, I just use turkey. I really thought that my family wouldn't um, like turkey that much, but now that's really all they ask for is turkey. So I'm happy with that. Papa Jay, he doesn't. He just eat turkey all the time. So we would have different dishes coming in dealing with turkey because there's one that. I, the staple items that is in our household for us meat. Okay, that's going to be the last one here. Okay. Just make sure everything is covered. Okay. Man. All right, then we'll take this here. Let me finish it all up right here. 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead on. We're going to spray it with some. This is what you call some Cobra Jack cheese. Cobra Jack. And some mozzarella. Okay, I'm going to put the mozzarella on top. Just don't be don't be scared to put the mozzarella on top. I like cheese. So let's keep it spread it all over. Okay. And once you put it in the in the uh, oven, it's done. Get ready to put it in the oven. I always cover it with some foil. And then we're going to go into a, a 425 degree oven for, for 60 minutes. So that's an hour. So let's put your oil on and we're going to cover it for, six to, uh, for an hour. And let it cook. We'll be back and we'll see what we have. Hello everyone, it's been an hour and now we're finna see how our, our leftover meatloaf comes out. I can smell the goodness of it. I think I get the um I think I get Papa J to help me get this out this time. Mmm good. Delicious. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put it in here. We're gonna take, get ready to taste all I good. Let's take take this out. Oh, Papa J, look what we have here. Oh man, that looks good. Look at this. Mm, good. It's nice. I'm gonna take a piece. Take a piece. Mm -hmm. Okay, after this is gone. Oh, this is good. You can find this recipe along with my meatloaf recipe. On my YouTube, Webster Jessa, go to Webster Justice under my channel, and you can find the recipes for the for the uh, meatloaf and the lasagna. Okay, we're gonna go over here and sit down. We're gonna taste this because I am hungry. This it smells so good. And it's hot again. Okay, now what goes well with? Meatloaf or Italian is some garlic cheese bread. I have some uh, cheesy garlic bread that I have made. The recipe is also on my YouTube channel. And now we're going to taste this some wonderful, delicious, hot lasagna. Okay. Man, this is good. This is so good. Oh man, it's so good. I would like to taste my cheese bread. Mm 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 mm. Talking about good. This is good. I hope you're watching tonight. Once again, this is Mama and Papa Day cooking. Thank you for letting us to come into your kitchen. And once again, I say to you all, have a blessed night.